All right, Math 30-2s, let's look at the intersection of sets and union of sets. We're going to use the example in the previous page to introduce further terminology used in set theory. So recall that set E was a set of even numbers that are non-negative single digits, uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Set L was the whole numbers less than 7, which were non-negative single digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And O was the set of odd numbers less than 7 that were non-negative single digits, so 1, 3, 5. So the intersection of sets. The intersection of set A and set B is in a set is called A and B. All right. A and B intersection. It's denoted by this notation, A intersect B. It's a set of elements that are members of both sets A and B. So write the intersection of sets E and L using appropriate terminology. So we would say E intersect L would be the set of numbers that are members of both sets A and set B. In this case, both sets E and set L. So 0, 2, 4, 6. Those are members of both sets E and L, so we call those the intersection of E and L. The union of sets, A and B, is called A or B, denoted by A union B. It is the set of elements that are members of either set A or set B, or both. So that's the inclusive use of the word or. So use appropriate notation to write the union of set E and set L. So E union with set L. How would that look? Again, we don't have to write the same element more than once. So which ones are in A or B or both? So in this case, in E or L or both. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are all the parts of set L, and set E includes all of those as well as the number 8. All right. Disjoint sets. So two sets are said to be disjoint if they have no elements in common. The intersection of two sets is the em of two disjoint sets is the empty set. So for example, set two, three, four, and set five, six, seven are disjoint because they have no elements in common. Which two of the sets from set E, set L, and set O are disjoint? In other words, if we were to uh, union them, no, intersect them, they have nothing in common, all right? So if you look at set E and set O have nothing in common, all right? So we would say E intersect O would be the empty set, therefore they are disjoint, all right? Example 3, then. Consider sets A, B, C from class example 2, where the universal set was the natural numbers less than 20. So A are those natural numbers less than 20 that are divisible by uh, 3. B is the natural numbers less than 20 divisible by 5. And C, natural numbers less than 20, which are multiples of 6. So we've got those listed. So based on the terminology, list the elements of the following sets and describe each set in words. A intersect B. So the ones that are common between A and B, the only number that's common there is the number 15. So I want to describe this in words. I would say, well, they're the set of natural numbers. less than 20 <laughs> that are divisible by 3 and 5. All right. A union B. So which ones are elements of A and B 
or A or B or both. So 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, 15, and 18. Those are members that belong to A or B or both. And how to describe this? Well, this is the set of natural numbers. We'll use that notation, set of natural numbers. Less than 20 that are divisible by either 3 or 5. A prime intersect B or the set not A intersect B. So which numbers are not A? 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, and so on, less than 20. And which of those intersect B? 1, 2, 4, 5. So not A and B have 5 in common. 7, 8, 10, 11. So they've got 10 in common. And not A would not have the number 15 it because that's in A already. So not A intersect with B or A prime intersect with B would be the numbers 5 and 10. Identify this in words. This is the set of natural numbers less than 20 that are not divisible by 3 and are divisible by 5. are not divisible by 3 and are divisible by 5. Part B. Write an equivalent set to B intersect C. So look at the, number, the set of B, 5, 10, 15, the set of C, 6, 12, 18. If I intersect them, which ones do they have in common? They've got nothing in common. So that'd be the empty set. We would call those disjoint sets. A union C. So all the numbers in A join with all the numbers in C. Well, the, the set of numbers in C already part of A. So we could just say that's the same as set A. They're the same thing. And A intersects C. Well, what do they have in common? Well, all the elements of set C are common to A and C. Question C in this example. If set D is given, list the elements of the following sets. All right. So I'd like you to try this one and see if you can get it. So pause this recording, try it, and then turn it back on and see if you get the same thing. All right, so if you look at C part 1, A intersect B union D. So I listed all the sets, A and A prime, B, P prime, and D. So if I look at B union D, so I combine all the elements of B with D, and I get B union D. All right, so all the even numbers plus, fifth, plus uh, oh, I forgot, 5, 5 and 15. 5 should be in there as well. And then, if I want to intersect the elements of A with the elements of B union D, all right? So I look for all the things in B union D, which is this one, that are also part of A, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So 6, 12, 15, 18 are the only ones in common there. So 6, 12, 15, and 18. So that's the question or the answer for question C part 1. All right. Let's look at question C part 2. So part 2 says A intersect B. Well, we've done A intersect B already. That's the number 15. All right. You union that with set D, and we have this answer. So you write down set D. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and A in union B is 15, 16, 18. All right. 
And let's finally look at part three. All right, part three says not A intersecting not B, and then the prime or not of that. So let's just look at not A intersect not B. So here's not A intersect with not B. So there's a one, two, four, seven, eight, Right, let's look at all the ones common. 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 11, 13, 14, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, and 19. 16, 17, and 19. So that's the set of not A intersect, not B. Now, if I want to do the prime of that, all right, the prime of that, which means not those um, a prime, not a intersect b prime, not b, and the not of that or the prime of that. We list all the numbers that don't appear in the one above. So three, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, and eighteen. And there's the answer for part three. All right. Great. So you guys have your assignment. Where you go.